The site is Ralph Wilson Stadium, located in Orchard Park, New York. There'll be plenty of long sleeves and hand warmers in abundance tonight as the Oilers match up against the Bills. I'm Al Michaels, and my partner John Madden here to bring you today's game. I'll tell you, if you're looking for someone to watch on defense, take a look at what he does all game long. Maybe he'll take on two blockers to free up someone else to make the play or just plow over some lineman to get a sack. I'll tell you, when you talk about a defensive lineman, you're talking about this guy. The Bills will need their running game to be at its best. Otherwise, they could be in for a long day. The best way to neutralize a good defense is by running right at them. So look for this back to get a lot of carries early on. They'll also use the run to set up a few long throws if they see that that safety is creeping up to the line of scrimmage. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep them waiting any longer. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. A much anticipated game ready to begin. Back to the field. Here's the kickoff team. We'll be kicking off to start the game. Number 44. And this one's a short kickoff. From the nine. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. Field. Puts everything behind this one. Interception. The defender makes a leaping interception. He just stepped in front of that one. He saw his opportunity, and boom, he took it. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. The Bills come out in a nickel pack. Dropping back pass to first down. Looking for a receiver. He records his first sack on that play. Should be very interesting to see how this one turns out with two great quarterbacks. Yeah, the thing I like about both of these guys is they have a lot of poise. You never see either of these guys with happy feet, nor do they try and force a pass that they shouldn't. This one should be a lot of fun. Throwing. Edge made on the run. What have you heard, Melissa? I talked to the head coach earlier today, and he told me that he's given his players a little extra incentive in this one. He promised them that if they can pull out a win today, they're going to be given an extra day off this week. We'll see how it plays out. Al? Thanks, Melissa. Drops back. Pressure coming. Right in stride. Slips the tackle. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Moon gets set. Man in motion. Cross play to the right. And a fumble. The Bills dive on the fumble. The defense came up for the ball on that play. And that's just great awareness. It goes to show you that you can never let up out there. You've got to keep your legs moving and your eyes open until you hear that whistle. All right, so it's first and ten following the fumble. Defensive adjustment. First and ten. 
Ball on the 26. Closes it out to the left. Down he goes at the 28. Just about two yards on the run by the halfback. Second and eight. Ball on their own 28. Dropping back. Under pressure. Rose. He finds his man. They called it inadvertent. You know, there's so many limbs flying and body parts moving around. You just tackle whatever you can and you grab anything that's moving. Sometimes you get a handful of mass. About two to go. Ball on their own 34. The Bills using motion. Again with the carry. Fresh set of downs after a nice pickup on the ground. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their blocks and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. Nice play for him. Incomplete. Well, the quarterback did his part. He was there, and the quarterback found him with the ball. Bounced off his hand. Second and ten. Houston looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. With the throw, and he hits his target. They went back to the screen. The screen pass requires that you have some quick linemen who can move wide of the tackle and set up blocks for the guy coming out of the backfield. Seven defensive backs in on this one. You got it. Drops back, gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Fourth down, upcoming after that incomplete pass. Looking for a good punt here. Harris will go back to accept this punt. He took his eyes off it, and the ball is alive. The Oilers scoop up the live ball. Following the turnover now, it's first and ten. The Oilers using motion. White wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. Closing in with the throw. Incomplete pass. That short pattern results in a drop pass. He had a tough time getting control of that one. It looked like the quarterback did a pretty good job throwing it. He just didn't catch it. Stay up, dude. Dropping back. Looking downfield. Throws it. Pass was incomplete. He appeared to feel the pressure there. And that's a right decision in that case. Get rid of the ball and take the incomplete. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Here's the punt. From the 39. The 40. The 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Bill. It didn't take long to find that scene and then take it all the way. I'll tell you, when you can get points from your special teams like that, it makes your team a bigger threat because there's one more way to break a game open. The kicking team heads out onto the field. And it's on its way. The point after is good. 
So with both clubs trying to catch their breath after that return, we'll get set for another one. This is where they're going to have to respond. They were unable to sustain a drive, were forced to punt, and now they find themselves in a pressure situation. They aren't able to do anything again. What happens on the next punt return? The Oilers will start the drive from the 26. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Moon sets up. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Very lucky that was the interception. You know, he didn't pick it off, but at least he didn't let the receiver make the catch either. Still a pretty good effort. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Buffalo comes out in their nickel pack. Looking for an option. Rolls out to his left. Throws this one away. And there's a flag on the play. The offense practices that play every day. Obviously, that guy needed to show more discipline than that out there. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 16. White. Nice play for Steps up with the throw. The pass throws incomplete. Jones displayed excellent anticipation. He has a great feel for defending the pass. He always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Montgomery is back to punt. Here's the kick. And he waves for the fair catch. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. Defensive line shifting around a bit. Here come the heat. Pressure with the pass, and it's caught. Good catch by the receiver on that play. Yeah, he made sure he was in the clear, moved into position, and made the catch. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Picks up about five on that one, moving the chains in the process. <laughs> yeah, the defense was looking around, and he was already by him before they knew what hit him. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 48. Hit him low. They line up in the eye formation. Stop. Gets rid of it. He has some room. Great play there. I lost it. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yard. Houston comes out in their nickel pack on the 20 yard line. Just give it all you got. Bulldog under. Set. Hut. Get the ball, man. Thomas couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running play. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency, but they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. Number 14. Sets up. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off with the catch. He found a soft spot on the defense and was right there to make the catch. The thing about a pass like that is it cuts down on the time the defender has to react to where the ball's headed. Here come the heat, sir. Dropping back, looking downfield. Slings it to the outside. A short pass off the mark, and it's now fourth down. So this one will be from about 31 yards out. And it's up. A nice kick, and it's good.
will go back to the play on the field. Christie is back and ready to put this one in the air. Nice kick and returnable. From the 11. The Oilers will start this drive from the 25 yard line. Calling an audible now. Moon sends a man in motion. Cross play to the left. Williams with a textbook tackle. You don't see too many corners in the league who will come up and make a play on a guy behind the line of scrimmage like that. That's a nice looking play. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Cowboys. Buffalo comes out in a dime package. Under pressure with the pass. It's going the other way. Hicks made a great read and came up with the interception. The quarterback seemed to rush that one a little. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. Shifting some personnel up front. No pass on first down. Closing in. Throwing. Good looking play. Hey, I like to see him get the fullback involved in the passing game. He's a pretty good option out of the backfield. He has quick feet, good hands, so passing to him sometimes is a pretty good idea. Man in motion. Stay guys. Pass play here on first down with the throw. And he makes the grab. Number 14. Showed his strong arm and lightning release on that throw. That's just to display a great hand shown by that receiver. The throw was a little off the mark, but he got his fingertips on him and brought it in for the catch. Buffalo has started off quickly as the first quarter comes to an end with the score 10. Zero. The teams has switch sides and will start the second quarter. Gardner in motion. Thomas. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Sets up. They give it to the halfback. Runs over the tackle. The back picks up about two on that carry. Gain of two on the play. Third down now and goal to go. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means that your offense is making big plays when they need them. It's loose. The Bills and the offense recovers its own fumble. That ball just took a lucky bounce right back to the offense. So this field goal try will be from 27 yards out. The kick is up. And so that kick is good. That successful field goal attempt is his second of the game. Kickoff team lines up. They'll return this one. From the two. Missed tackle. Misses the tackle. Houston has to get to work quickly, trailing by two touchdowns. Only one man in the backfield. Moon sees something in the defense. The Oilers using motion. Game off to the tailback. Gain of two. Eight to go. Ball on their own 29.
That's it! Huh. Pressure with the pass. He overthrew the target. There was no way he was going to get to that one. The Oilers line up in the shotgun. Set. Huh. He surveys the field. Rowan. And he hits his target. Runs through the tackle. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 42. Red, Looks like he's changing the play. Pass play here on first down. Steps up. It's the pass off. This pass is incomplete. He just overthrew that one. I wonder if that one slipped out of his hand. It was clearly off target. Drops back. Looking for a receiver with the pass. Duncan uses his great speed to get down the field and move the stick. Yeah, and the quarterback showed great touch on that pass. Shows how much these two guys work in practice and their timing. That sure was one pretty play. Moon sets up. Man in motion. Three, maybe four yards on the misdirection play. Second and six. Ball on the 21 yard line. Set. Using motion. It's the toss to the left. He's inside the 10. A very well drawn up play. And it was well executed. They hit their blocks and the back found the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. The Bills come out in a nickel package. Set. Calling an audible. Man in motion. <laughs> Only a yard by the halfback. On the run, one yard gain on the play. So it's second and goal. Seven yards to the goal line. Yes, they come out in a dime package. Pressure coming. He's looking. Rolls left. Gets the pass off. He waited just a little too long to get rid of that pass. This defense really likes to keep the pressure on the passer. They bull rush, they speed rush, they blitz from the outside, all in an attempt to create turnover opportunities in the second end. The offensive line needs to do a better job of holding on their block, giving a little extra time in the pocket that the quarterback needs. Drops back, under pressure, gets rid of it, hits him in stride. Touchdown, Houston. Quick connection for the score. And that's a deal where the quarterback saw his opportunity, and he wasn't going to let it get away. He threw it in there in a hurry. El Greco comes in to attempt the point after. And it's on its way, and he takes on the extra point. A good-looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. Hey, these guys deserve to feel good about it. Now it's the defense's turn to come out and do its job. Good distance. From the four-yard line. Last drive stalled, and they settled for a field goal. Now let's see what happens. Tackle at 
the 23. Only a yard by the halfback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 23. Shifting some personnel up front. Number 14. Get set. Lose it, lose it. Closing in. Great play in the backfield. Good pass rush that time as he reached the quarterback first first set. Third and 15. Ball on their own 18. Here come the heat. On the call, fakes the handle. Slings it to the outside. He almost got to him for the sack. Getting pressure on the quarterback is the easiest way to disrupt a pass play. The defensive line should take full credit for that play. Moore will come into this game to punt. Here's the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. There was no need to try and return that one. But he made the right decision there. The Oilers line up in the shotgun. Moon gets set. Going to the air on first down. White couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Set. Hut. Drops back. He's looking. Rolls right. Into the open. Still running. The 50. He dumped it off and left it up to the receiver to get the first. When it comes to the screen pass, you have to have perfect timing. You don't want to give the play away too early because the defense will pick up on it and flow to that side of the field and shut it down. Set. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Pressure, looking downfield with the pass. And the pass ball's incomplete. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. The Oilers line up in the shotgun. Looking for an option, throws it, and it's caught. Flips the tackle. Good connection there. This guy has great confidence in his arm. He knows that he can make the completion regardless of the coverage. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Pressure coming with the pass. Hurdles free. He's inside the ten. He stepped up, made a terrific throw. That's just great communication between the quarterback and his receiver. Set. The kicking team heads out onto the field. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. Starting to get into the groove, that's 14 consecutive points. It sure seems like they've figured out the best way to move the ball against this defense. Not a bad kick, they'll set up for the return. From the five-yard line. The Bills will start the drive from 21. The Oilers line up in the quarter defense. To the air on first down. Rowing gets his hand on it. They'll need a good pick up here to make their way further downfield or they'll have to face a third down situation. Set. 
Number 14. Sends a man in motion. Looking downfield. Throws it. He has it. Slips the tackle. He's on the right. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Bill. A remarkable touchdown play. Yeah, everything seemed to go right on that one. The quarterback had a good pass. The receiver ran the right route. And the defense didn't seem to have any idea what was going on. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. Sends it sailing. From the one. The 40. Oof, what a stiff arm. They'll start near midfield following the return. Now they only have 20 yards to go or so to get into scoring range. When you start your drive with a short field in front of you, it makes putting points on the board a whole heck of a lot easier. An effective two-minute drill will give them the opportunity to put some points on the board before the half. Throwing on first down. Looking for a receiver. Looking deep to the right. Almost picked off. They're lucky that one wasn't picked off. Yeah, the defender was in a perfect position to come up with a big play. He just left his hands over on the sideline. There's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score. Keep throwing and getting out of bounds. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Set. Hut. Under pressure, surveying the field. Has room. Stiff arm there. Watch here as he's able to avoid the blocker and get in there and make the tackle. And that's how you're supposed to play. Don't stop. Keep going until you reach the ball carrier. Set. Hut. Dropping back. He's looking. Throw. He goes up and grabs it. The Oilers call a timeout. That's their first. They're in a good position to get at least a field goal before the half, and with the timeouts they have, it might turn out to be a touchdown. Moon gets set. Using motion. Drops back. Closing in. He surveys the field. Rowing. This one falls incomplete. He couldn't hang on to it. He made the right read, ran the right route, and he ended up with two hands full air. With the timeouts they have left, they can use the whole field, and the defense has to be aware of that. One thing to watch out for is if the quarterback can scramble for some yards if it doesn't have an open receiver soon enough. Dropping back. Steps up into the pocket. Gets rid of it. Good play on that pass. If he can make catches like that regularly, he can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction. Buffalo with six defensive backs. Ball on the 11 yard line. Come on, Cotton. Set. Come on. Be up. Cowboy. Hut. Drops back. Stepping up. Rowan. It's his receiver in stride. And again, it's first and 10. Hey, they're getting a good push up front. And the receivers are getting open. They're making a catch. That's what you have to do to get in the end zone. Set. Hand it off to the back. Touchdown. Houston. So they get in on the ground. Yeah, he knew where he wanted to go, and he got there. The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. Doug Greco will be kicking off. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the three-yard line. And a fumble. The Bills scoop up the live ball. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 18. First and ten. 
Gardner breaks the back. So at halftime, it's anyone's game with the score. Houston, 21. Buffalo, 20. Let's get back to the action on the field. So with halftime now over, let's take a look at how both teams performed in the first half. Good kick should be returnable. From the seven yard line. The 30, the 40, across midfield, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 43 yard line. The bats are lined up in an eye. Brought down at the 39. Decent game, about four. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39 yard line. Man in motion. Ball on the 39. It's the toss to the left. Can't bring him down. Only a yard by the halfback. The offense is confident they can convert for this first because they've done well on third down thus far. Pressure. Looking for a receiver. Rolls out to his left. With the throw. Nearly intercepted. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. Yeah, he had an excellent opportunity to end the drive right there. He just couldn't bring it in. Trying to pin them back as far as possible as he lines up for his third punt. Here's the kick. They'll spot this one where it went out. game here. Six to go. Ball on their own six. Give it all you got. Lucky comes in motion. Just won't go down. Stiff arms the defender to the ground. Gain of about five. up the punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. A lot of open field as he takes the punt. Watch here as he's able to avoid the blocker and get in there and make the tackle. Now that's how you're supposed to play. Don't stop. Keep going until you reach the ball carrier. Throw. He made that catch look easy. That receiver has really good technique out there. He always catches it in front with his hands, then brings it into his body. 
from the gun. Ball on the 48 yard line. Set! They'll give it to the handback. Well, some valuable yardage on that one through the middle. He's got to look to make his move early. If he sees guys waiting there in the middle, he's got to look for the cutback lane. A bounce it out, looking for a little more room to the outside. Set! Huh. Pressure coming with the pass. Number 84. He told us before the game he thought he'd have a big day, and he's proven that seven catches us for Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Here's the kick. A loose ball. And the football goes out of bounds. So it's first and ten. They'll go from the eye formation, looking upfield. The defender goes down. Just about a three-yard gain there. With the carry, three-yard gain on the play. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Ball on the 16-yard line. Let's go! Come on! The Bills can regain the lead with a field goal. Crosses it out to the right. Good pickup on that toss play. Five, maybe six yards. About a yard to go. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Third down conversions is a keeper stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, you keep their defense on the field, and you keep your defense resting on the sideline. So on third and short, they move the chains on the pants. The receiver did a great job of knowing where he was and getting past the first down marker. That was a nice looking play. Set. Come on, partner. Hut. Get at it. Hut. Hut. Going to the left. Two-yard pickup on the toes. Dropping back with the throw. Picked off. It's intercepted. Lewis made an amazing pick on that play. The defender is really pumped up out there. He knows that this is the type of thing that can give his team great momentum. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. They'll start the drive. Using motion. First and ten. Passing on first down. Off and running. Gets the call, picks up four, maybe five there. Five yard gain on the play. Drops back, steps up, rolling. He was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. Looks like he's changing the play. White, the deep man. They give it to the halfback. Good game there, and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first down, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. First and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. Hit him 
Moon directing traffic. Hand it off. Gain of about one. One yard gain on the play. Buffalo comes out in their nickel package. The Oilers holding on by less than a field goal. Drops back, steps up. And he's tackled behind the line by number 73. Tenacious pass rush on that play, John. Yeah, that's for sure. These guys can really get after the quarterback. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Oilers ahead of the Bills. 21. 20. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Line up in a five receiver set this time. He surveys the field, going deep, looking for something in the end zone. The incomplete pass brings up fourth down. Del Greco looking to make a good kick here. The kick is up. The try is good. The kickoff team lines up. And he got all of that one. A great kick. He decides not to return this one. The Bills will start this drive from the 20. So we have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 20. Number 14. Sets up. You got him. Ain't got nothing. Going to the air on first down. It's complete. Second and short of coming after a good pickup through the air. Right here is one of those situations where you can pretty much open up the whole playbook. You can go with a play fake and look for something deep, or you can just run the ball. Just about anything is an option. Hand off to the tailback. Thomas was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows him to hold up against the run while also giving him the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. And this pass is completed. He's normally the guy they look to when they need a first down. Great catch. I lost it. Yeah, and why they go to this guy is because of his hands. His hands are as good as I've seen throughout the league. The backs are lined up in an eye. Number 14 gets set. Throwing on first down. Incomplete. He was able to avoid the sack, but couldn't find a way to get that pass to his receiver. Yeah, the pass rush got to him just as he was releasing the ball. He did avoid the sack, but he's got to be careful not to throw the ball up for grabs where the defense can pick it off. Throwing short to the right side. They went with a screen pass on that play. And the defense was waiting to pounce on it. Houston looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Closing in. Rolling right. Slings it across the middle. Nice pass and good catch on that play. The pass was fired in there so hard, I think he left smoking the ball. Hey. D up. 
Tom, the deep man, fakes the handle with the pass, but he hits his receiver. So they're able to pick up another first down. This offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Eighth play of this drive. Crosses it out to the left. Five-yard pickup on that one by the tailback. Houston with six defensive backs. With the throw, this pass is incomplete. Quarterback did a good job avoiding the pass rush, but couldn't find anybody open. He waited until the last second, then he got the ball out of there. He does a nice job of feeling the pass rush. But he has to know who his hot receiver is if he feels pressure, or if he sees the defense coming on a blitz. Let's go, come on! On the carry. They'll go with a play fake. With the pass. They have the momentum here. They're darn near unstoppable on third down. They've just been calling the right plays at the right time. They're within striking distance here. Ain't nothing. Bus is grilled. Number 14 sets up. Hand off to the tailback. Nice pickup on the ground, maybe about six. This officially will be a 37-yard attempt. And it's on its way. Christie contributes his third field goal to catch the drive. The Bills get closer but still need another score. I think that this team has really created some opportunities and has grabbed the momentum. Nice pick. Plenty of distance. From the six-yard line. Loses one tackle. Sheds the tackle. The offense ready to go again after their last drive ended with three points. The Oilers line up in the shotgun. Directing traffic. Looking to run it here. About a four-yard gain there. About six to go. Ball on their own 31. Moon goes to work with an empty backfield. Ball on the 31 yard line. Pressure. Looking for a receiver. Rowing. This pass is incomplete. The Bills line up in the quarter defense. Set. Dropping back with the throw. Behind the caught. And you give him time, he'll find a receiver. Yeah, and with this guy, he doesn't throw it behind him. He doesn't throw it over their head. He throws it where they're going. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 48. Calling an audible now. 
pickup of about a yard in the run. Go ahead and take this one to the outside, but make sure you stay in bounds and keep that clock running. And we've reached the two-minute mark. The Bills come out in a nickel package. Two minutes to go. Using motion. Crosses it out to the right. Runs through the tackle. Just about three yards there. I'm guessing this should be a run. The defense can't be lollygagging around, because if they are and they give up a first, this one's over. Third and five. Ball on the 47-yard line. Set. Man in motion. White. Buffalo calls a timeout. They have one timeout remaining. They couldn't get another first to run out the clock. They'll have to punt. to return. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. The Bills line up in a five receiver set this time. The Bills can regain the lead with a field goal. With the pass, great throw. No problem picking up the first. Yeah, you know, we talk about putting a ball on a guy. The quarterback put that ball on the receiver perfectly. And they're going without a huddle. Through the air on first down. Looking for a receiver. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. A lot of room to work with. Tremendous run after the catch by Lofton. Hey, that's all you have to do with this guy. Just give him the ball and let him outrun everybody on the field. He's trying to get them back to the line. We'll see. <laughs> Under pressure, throws it. Did a good job pressuring the quarterback on that play. That's the best way to do it. As a defense, you never want the quarterback to be able to settle in and feel comfortable in the pocket. Bringing guys in the blitz or playing bump and run on the outside can really disrupt the play's execution. Houston lines up with seven guys in the secondary. Steps up into the pocket. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. Big third down play coming up. The defense looking to make a big stop here and force them in to a critical fourth down situation. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field, and it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. Closing in, gets the pass off, drops the interception. I know the coach loves it when he can tell his quarterback, just go out there for a kneel down. Does that mean you've got yourself to win? First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Give it all you got. Hit him low. Set. Buffalo will call a timeout here. That's their last one. You don't want to take any chances in this situation. Just take a knee and let the clock run out. Now, 
Now, a smart coach would punt the ball here. There's the final gun. The final score is Houston 24, Buffalo 23. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Here's our horse trailer player of this game.